Alright, what is up guys? My name is Creator. Welcome back to another gameplay of Hogwarts Legacy. And this will be the part 5. Well, as you can see... Nah, before we begin. Previously on Hogwarts Legacy. Are you alright? Don't you know who I am? Zenobia Noak. The girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. I'm sorry the other students weren't more friendly. That's kind of you. I suppose there are a few decent souls here. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul-smelling liquid. <laughs> Oh, well, that's one of Zenobia's gobs. There you go. There's two. That's three. High places around the street. That's four. Mm. That's five. Akio. Ooh, that's six. Akio. That's the last of Zenobia's gobstones. I should go and see her. Gobstones, yeah. Zenobia. I found all your gobstones. Really? I didn't think it was possible. However, did you do it? Common sense and basic magic. Well, <clears throat> may I have my gobstones back? I'm afraid I've decided to keep them. That'll teach you to stink up your classmates. What? You'd keep my prize collection for yourself? Yes. Find his keepers, I'm afraid. I knew it! You're just as bad as everyone else! I hate this school! You'll all be sorry when I learn some more spells! Professor, I'm glad to see you. And I you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? It leads to the library. A restricted section, to be precise. And a bit beyond. I see traces of magic there on the map. Shall we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well. But now I'll have to take it with me to London. The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. Sebastian, there you are. There you are. You promised me an explanation for what happened in the Three Broomsticks. You mentioned being clever enough not to get caught in the restricted section. And I am. Meet me outside the library tonight, and tell no one. Who have we here? Sebastian Solo and his new little friend. Out exploring where they shouldn't be. Naughty, naughty, you'll get caughty. Peeves, don't you... I'm going to tell, I'm going to tell, I'm going to tell. I'm afraid I must take this to the headmaster. But that being said, Peeves informs me that you didn't come alone tonight. If someone has coerced you, I would have you tell me. You're a bright boy. Don't waste this. There was nobody else. I came alone. Right, well, in the previous part, we decided to help a young fellow student. I think she's a year one. Zenobia Nook. Well, all the other students hated her for winning too much in Gobblestone games. Yeah, and they decided to put... <laughs> it was a cruel joke though. Uh, decided to put all the Gobblestone in the highest places that is possible for us to reach. Well, it's impossible for you to reach unless you got a broom or you learn a spell of death. But apparently you won didn't learn this kind of spell so yeah once we acquire all of the gobblestone i really thought i really thought that it was a joke that i told her that i'll, I'll be keeping it yeah <laughs> but then there's another option for us it's either to give her or to keep it so i decided to keep it and i got all of the gobblestone and after that we Decided to meet with Professor Fig in order to find more clues on the ancient magic. Apparently, he can't 
help us with finding more clues on the ancient magic so because he has to explain to the ministry about the death of his friend george or osri yeah i don't know i don't know his full name we decided to ask sebastian for help well he told us that he had a way with restricted area in the library so yeah we decided to ask him for help and once we reach down there there's this alter guy's name Peef, man that guy suck that guy's a snitch man sebastian is a admirable character he decided not to tell on us he said he was alone that was one hell of a character man if you ask me so yeah that's all of the recap so let's begin on the part five yeah before we begin <laughs> let's see there's sebastian shadow okay oh, this is uh So there's two students we need to meet. It's either... Oh! Herbology! Alright! Let's go to Herbology. Alright, here we are. Herbology. Yay! Yeah. Hey, Sebastian, my man! Thank you for not telling on us, man. Thank you so much. Hello there. Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, A little treat for your auntie. Auntie, eh? Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. Thank you. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing bulb. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Accio. This thing screams, right? Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. Hmm. Okay, I'm wearing a ear earpiece right now. Will this hurt? Now, everyone. Grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. Right, here we go. <laughs> uh, damn, they look ugly -ish. Quickly, place your mandrake in the new pot and pat down the soil. The soil should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repero! I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. That's okay. Right, then. Off you go. Splendid work, everyone. Thank you for your work, ma'am. Thank you for your work. Now, for our next task, we'll be planting dittany at our potting tables. You can all get started. I... Hmm. I wonder if hippogriffs like mock grass. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. Uh, it nearly went deaf. I'll say. It nearly went deaf. Well, yes. Of course, the cry of a mature mandragora can be fatal, so remember to keep those ears protected. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the magic neep. Wonderful! A prepared student is bound to bloom. 
I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. Wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Hey. Let's see how to balance my star thistle arrangement. Dittany's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganweld potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. And minute. Yield five. Okay. Well done! Once it can be harvested, your Dittany will be ready to use in Wiganweld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Dear, dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. All right. All right, Pruitt. Pruitt. Where are you? Oh. Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there. But your lead. I nice you're just supposed to lead me. Against the dark arts, by the way. Okay. Excuse me. Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh. Well. Thank you. Here we are. Home of the Chinese chomping. Go on. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. Oh, okay. Should I just press this? Look at oh. that! They'll chomp on anything they can get their uh, mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Okay, bro. Shut up. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone. Well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. Suppose they, yeah. I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos out there. Trolls in Hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Okay. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. Take time. All right. Oh, Melus with Sydney. Is there any other item here? Check. Oh. Revelio. Dirigible plums. This orange one. Man. I really can't exp. I mean, I really can't pronounce some of these words, but I'll try. I'll do my best. It's a lock there. But then we just went. Oh, okay. All right, all right. Alright, so. Revelio. Is there anything here that we can use? Oh, we can. Yes, finally, I needed that. I needed that so much. Fighting against the knights, man, that was scary as shit. Okay, that is it. And with that helpful reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves, I shall end our lesson here. I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green-fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. 
Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. Herbology class complete. Oh, those mandrakes are really relishing their new pots. Only cost me my. So what's next? The girl from Wagadu. What's this? Whoa, new spell. All right. Appearance. Okay. So heck it. Dodge roll, cast incendio. Okay. Cross one. Well, two birds, one stone, right? Let's go. Alright, here I am, Lucan. Here I am. Nah. Let me see. Yeah, let's practice with the dummy. Hello, Lucan. I'd like to practice with the training dummy. Excellent idea. This time will be a bit more of a challenge. Ready? Yeah. That'd be brilliant. Wonderful. I'll set things up. Remember to cast all the spell combinations before the dummy lands again. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Yes. All right, let's begin. Let's see. Akio. Akio. Incendio. Levioso. Good one. Okay. Is that it? What's next? Okay. Incendio. Accio. Uh. That was something. That was wrong. Wrong combination. Levioso. Accio. Incendio. Oh yeah. So we need to dodge, right? Accio. Incendio. Levioso. Keep trying. Damn. Okay, Accio. You'll get it. That's accurate. Accio. Incendio. Levioso. Accio. Incendio. Excellent form. It's a cooldown on this spell. Okay. Impressive I'll take work. I take to face you in a duel. Nah. Thanks, Lucan. You've been a great help. Oh, stop! Don't make me blush. <laughs> Seriously, well done. Training dummies will think twice before challenging you again. Plus, you'll be even more formidable in crossed ones. Other jewels had better beware. Just want to odd that. Okay. Oh, see, Professor Heck. And she got a quest for us, right? In order to learn a new spell. Oh, potion class. All right. That's a shout. Okay. So successfully avoid enemy attacks by rolling dodge rolling, okay. Remember that crater. Remember to Hello, dodge. Lucan. Is the final round of cross ones ready? Big match today. It all comes down to this. The moment that we find out if your training and dedication is enough to win it all. Ready for a shot at glory? Alright, bring it. Bring it. I certainly am. Brilliant. Are you dealing with a partner? Well, yeah. Yes, Sebastian. Then let's get started. Four versus we two. We can make this a real victory. Maybe four versus That's two. The yep. This will be easy, you know. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, shoot. Damn it. The hell? Look, I know, I know. Me and my big mouth, right? Let's try this again. Shh. 
Full combo. That's what I got. Oh damn. Akio. Incendio. I'm gonna take my time with you. Oof. I could never duel like that. That was hot. <laughs> what a victory! You've won the tournament! Thanks. I'm just pleased to have done as well as I did. And we're pleased to have such a gracious champion. Now, to the victor goes the prize! And so it is my great honour to present you with this simple yet elegant token of supreme dueling accomplishment! What's that? <laughs> Thank you. It's been an honour. You earned it! You are a duelist to be reckoned with! Now that we've definitively crowned the tournament winner, I suppose I should get back to my schoolwork. Wonder how my herbology plants are doing. I haven't tended them in ages. Oh, yeah. Talk about that. Yeah, shoot. Yes. I forgot my, about my Dittany. Dittany, Dittany. Let's see, Dittany. Uh, yeah. Oh, we got new spells. Right. How about we go there first? Press a heck it. She's in a charms class, right? Oh yeah. Oh sorry, my bad. It's defense against the dark arts. All right, Professor Hackett, it's time for a new spell. Nice protego. Not too shabby. This is kind of weird, watching them without music on, but hey, I don't want to get copy strike. I don't know for a small YouTuber like me, but hey, it is what it is. So no music and my voice only. I hope you were able to take care of everything I had asked you to do. Yes, ma'am, I did. And it was terribly... Yeah, it took me so many tries. Professor, I completed all of your most recent assignments. Well done. Then you're ready to learn Expelliarmus. Pay close oh, yeah. attention. The disarming charm may often be all you need to defeat the most powerful dark witches and wizards you might encounter. Spellcasting requires a focused mind and a steady wand. Steady enough. Expelliarmus. All right, let's... Good work. The dummy is here if you wish to stay in practice. Yes, yes. Sorry, ma'am. Let me... Expelliarmus! You seem to have the right idea. Accio! It's a deal. Expelliarmus may save your life one day. Yeah. Thank you so much, Professor Eckert. Thank you. So, for today's episode, my plan is, you know, to stay in the school for a while. We learn about potion making first before we venture off towards the other places, right? Yeah, potion class. You need that. It's time to learn the basics. 
divination no it's not divination right oh okay okay let's go to potion glass all right Shouldn't there be all of oh. someone from the ministry guarding the school after the incident in Hogsmeade? Was that? Okay. I bet he knows more than he's letting on about the Goblin Rebellion. Let's begin on the potion making. Now you're right, sir. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Nicely done, Before Takar. today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Will do. Uh, how should we do this? Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Okay. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. Roger that. A pinch of detony. And... Hot lime juice. Okay. Oh, there's more. And stir. With love. Yeah, with love. <laughs> And that is how you make a Wigan Well potion. Nah, I'm just kidding. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. Thank and from you. what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing. And we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. All right, let me show you what I'm made of. My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a goblin rebellion. Okay, all right. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? Yeah. He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Okay. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single fooper feather. As you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission, perhaps you could grab it for me. Okay. That'd be easy, right? I'll get you the fooper feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Fooper feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. Man, I'm excited to see what he's brewing. Okay, let's go. Remember, precision. Uh, okay. Ashwinder eggs. Okay. And a mongrel fur. Oh. Hell yeah, we got a new glove. Okay, is there anything else here? Hmm. Revelio. 
Oh, a letter. Organ Sandbergs. Okay. I do not know what this is. This must be personal letters, right? You shouldn't read it. Something here, right? Nah, I don't think so. Uh, let's go. Alright, here you go. Here's the Fwapa feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Adurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Alright. I wonder what he's doing. Okay, let's... Uh, have to wait for and it. now we add the mallow sweet and that's odd what's happening wait it's not supposed to uh -uh. get it not again oh smell dragons are what happened <laughs> well done gareth is that it what now mr weasley sorry professor That'll be points from Gryffindor again. <laughs> Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. Oh no. Shh. Yeesh. I brewed an Adurus potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. That was my bet. I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learned a lesson. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. Okay. I'll take note of that. Oh, Revelio. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Aura's badge. Oh. Oh, I see. Dismissed. Okay, thank you, sir. Bye bye. Damn. He used to be an aura? Wow. Okay, there's nothing here. Let's see what can we do here. Nothing. Okay. Alright. My robes are going to reek from Gareth's inspiration for the rest of term. A girl in our dormitory keeps getting packages of homemade pasta for her family. Okay, let's see. Where should we head to next? Sequest. A girl from Wakadu. Okay, fine. We need to meet her. ASAP. What is this balloon do? Alright, we got our spells ready. I hope we are ready to take on the world. Nah, <laughs> not the world. The enemies. Ooh, good. Levioso. Can we aim the good? <laughs> Flying good. I, I should investigate. That. Investigate what? Let's see. That's uh, Anati Onai. Natty, eh? Why is she sticking steroid now? It is good to see you, my friend. Yeah, it is good Hello, to see Natty. you too. How are you? I am well, thank you. I was there, and I saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow at the Three Broomsticks. I have been worried about you. I'm all right at the moment. If you don't mind my asking, why were they looking for you? Fancy. I've never met Rookwood or Harlow. Perhaps they mistook me for another student. Hmm. A bit odd. The two of them pursuing a Hogwarts student so intently. But whatever the reason, you were clearly in danger. For now, 
it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us, to all of us, which is why I wanted to speak to you. you Everyone mean? has been talking about you defending Hogsmeade from that troll attack. And I shall never forget watching Sorona stand up to Rookwood and Harlow in the Three Broomsticks. Both of you have inspired me to take oh. a stand of my own. You would dare sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. I'm glad to hear it. Good. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair. And you should know that Rookwood is in league with Ranrock. I had heard they were seen in Hogsmeade together. All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true. But shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow was planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen and find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Be on your guard. I do. Okay, it's a new place. I beg your pardon. How dare you threaten me? What's going on here? Bricks were laid. The tales of Beetle the Bard still ring true today. I never thought Ramrock's loyalists would go this far. <laughs> Is this a new quest? They must have come this way. Think. Oh. I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to. Victor Rookwood, don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oh, that's Oi. a cool mess. Speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student? No. You can't be so. <laughs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupid. All right, ma'am. Let's go. Let's fight. There you are. Oh. Expelliarmus. Incendio. Stack him. Right. Oh, shit. There's more. I'll watch the light go out of your eyes. Oh, yeah? Come on. Okay. Pull! We can hold them off! I'm not going anywhere with you. You'll take this student over my dead body! Be on your knees! Attack him! Incendio! Let me Final spell! <laughs> she become a chicken! Run what away. Just happened? Run. Never been accosted in and never land. look back. Look so close to Hogwarts. Uh, ma'am, where are you? Are you alright? Are you alright? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Oh, thank Can you, you so tell much. Me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. It was Priya. Yeah. You mentioned someone named Priya. Yes, my wife. She's oh. the one who piqued my interest in Merlin. Gave me a book when we were students at Hogwarts. Typical hard-working Hufflepuff. Brilliant potioner. Has her own shop in Nocturne Alley. She's a travelling vendor. Here's what's going on in the Highlands before I do. I see. Uh, okay. She got a wife. All right. You're a researcher. Nora Treadwell at your service, historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life. I see. Yeah, I thought. Yeah. 
I thought that Merlin and the tales about King Arthur's court were a myth. Mere myth? <laughs> You're lucky Sir Cadogan didn't hear you. Chatters on endlessly about his connection to Merlin from his portrait at Hogwarts. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. I see. These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area, I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. See. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has a symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols. Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Suite with me. It's just over there by my tent. Okay. All right, this Mallow Suite. Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. Okay, man. Thank you. That's so kind I of have you. Have the Mallow Suite. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Uh -huh. Each trial has these features. Place the Mallow Suite on the swell. And we'll see what happens. Uh, what swell? Oh, okay. Mellow sweet. My word! Did you see that? The vines disappeared. What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. I am curious about these pyres. Uh. <laughs> Maybe you should set it ablaze. Incending. Merlin's beard! The flames make the pyre sink. Oh, okay. Is that good enough? Alright. Beard, how beautiful! Okay, that's Merlin. What a day. I oh. can hardly believe it. It's like a side quest, huh? But for what? <gasps> Sorry. I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require Mallow Suite, which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. Thank you. And do be careful out here. Now, I've got what I needed. I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. Okay, man. Bye bye. Oh. Uh. Alright, that's another side quest. Oh, it's to increase our gear capacity. Okay. Okay, okay. Ah, this dude. Right. You be. Greetings. I understand. Oh, sorry. Hello. Sorry. Can I help you? Oh, thank goodness. Yes. My name is Grace Pinch Smedley. Of the Bath Pinch Smedleys? I was hoping someone would come along soon. I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself. You see, I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake. Might you be the one to help me? 
I might get wet. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm not keen on mucking about at the bottom of lakes. Oh, please don't say no just yet. Perhaps if you understood my plight, you'd change your mind. Perhaps. What precisely do you need to retrieve and why? Years ago, my grandfather, who oh, fancied God. himself quite the astronomer, set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. Okay. They never returned. I'm so sorry. What happened to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. They were presumed drowned. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. A treasured family astrolabe vanished with them that night. If you could dive down and retrieve it, I may be able to bring my father some peace. Yeah, I have to think about this. <laughs> mm, it sounds dangerous, especially for something of mere sentimental value. I understand. But I'd be forever grateful. Of course, you may discover much more than the astrolabe. Anything else you found would be all yours. I've cross-referenced the vessel's last alleged location against the lake's topography, depth charts and tide schedule. My best guess is that it's just over there, about a furlong from the dock. It would be wonderful to have my grandfather's astrolabe back. Okay, fine. I do hope you find the astrolabe. It would mean so much to our family. It sounds as if her astrolabe is just northeast of the dock. I should dive down and see. Okay. Is this the fastest? All oh, right. Let's see what do we got here. Astrolip. The hell is an astrolip? Okay, it's right here. This must be where the Pink Smedley family astrolabe is. Okay, search it. Um, sorcerer head. Okay. Let's see. What do we have here? Green striped glove, okay. Noble Azure Overcoat. Okay. And the final one, this should be it, right? The Astrolabe. Oh, sounds cool though. Astrolabe. Oh. Wait, what the hell? This one? Whoa, we got we got um, nice. Alright. I should let Grace know that I found her family astrolabe. Will we get a reward for this though? Hmm, let me see. Man, you got my ropes wet and my books are wet too, man. Socks are wet too. Damn it. Hello, Grace. I followed your bearings on a dive in the Black Lake. Oh, how incredible. Did you find the astrolabe? Aha. Uh -huh. I did. I did, but it wasn't easy. I shall need to be compensated. I see. That's fair, I suppose. A reward, so to speak, for finding the buried treasure. Thank you for recovering it. No you do well to keep an eye out for more spots to dive. A diver of your caliber is certain to find all sorts of things down there. Thank you again. And I do <clears throat> hope you keep diving. You certainly have a knack for finding treasure. What the hell? Moments must. Alright. With all of that is done, thank you so much for watching. 
do leave a like and a subscribe if you like the video and it will help me tremendously so yeah have a good one guys bye bye